Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is diagramming the three branches of government in the United States. Starting over here on the left, we're going to do a lot of writing. So we're going to start off with three branches of government. And because that is part of what we're talking about, I'm just going to put curve line, curve line, curve line all the way around and connect. Now, when we talk about the three branches of government, we're talking about, in our country, the United States, for my uh, global watchers, this is uh, for us, we live in a democracy. So that's going to be in the middle. And again, curve line, curve line, curve line, and connect. And our democracy is pretty much taken up by the Constitution which are the laws that our country Constitution which um, the Founding Fathers made up for when we decided to leave England and form our own government. Now, an example is in England they have a monarchy and that's with kings and queens. We don't have that here. Instead, we have our three branches of government and the first one is the legislative legislative branch. The next one is the executive branch and I'll go through all of these in just a minute executive branch and if you're a teacher you might want to make these into a word bank and the third one is the judicial okay so there's our three branches of government legislative executive and judicial I come down to the legislative one and I'm gonna put a dot and from that dot I'm gonna draw a curve line on the left come back to the dot curve line on the right come back to the left and just draw a slightly curved line over connect come back to the left and draw a straight line straight line straight line connect and underneath a little baby rectangle come up to the baby rectangle and just put some dots for the middle part I'm just gonna put straight lines and for the dome I'm gonna put curved lines and at the very top just a squiggle because that's a sculpture from the left I draw a straight line out straight line down straight line over straight line up straight line connect right in the center let's just draw a straight line straight line straight line on the right hand side let's just draw a straight line straight lines left hand side straight lines straight lines straight lines this is the Capitol building, the Capitol. And the Capitol houses the legislature. And who is the legislature? We call them the Congress. Okay? Now the Congress is divided up into two houses. And they make the law. Okay? There's a new law that needs to be made it comes from Congress in either one of the houses I'm gonna make straight lines and triangles for our for our um, showing us which way to go first we have the House of Representatives and the other is the Senate so in the legislative branch of government in the Capitol building in Washington DC we have Congress which makes the law is, makes the law and it's made up of the House of Representatives and the Senate but now we come over to the executive branch 
For the executive branch, we're just going to put a dot and we're going to draw straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line up, connect, a rectangle. Come right about here and let's just draw one curved line and draw another curved line. And now we're just going to go curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line on the left, curve line, curve line, curve line on the right. One, two straight lines, one, two straight lines. Those are columns. In the middle, one straight line, one straight line. On the left, straight line, straight line. On the right, straight line, straight line. And in the center, straight line and a rectangle. Little straight lines, that's our flag. All right, who's in the executive branch of our government? The president. The president. And he, straight line triangle, executes the law. And what does that mean? That means he's the one that puts the laws into force. He executes the law. Plural, more than one. Then we come over here to the judicial. Put a dot, straight diagonal out on the left, Straight diagonal out on the right, straight line, connect. Put a little one inside. Come on the left, straight line out, straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, straight line in, connect. We are curve line, 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 curve line on the left. One, two, one, two, straight lines. Put a straight line, straight line, straight line, and let's do it again. Curve line, curve line. These are columns. Curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. Straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line. On the left, if you still have some room, just put a little couple of straight lines. All right, the judicial branch is the Supreme Court. Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court, straight line triangle, interprets the laws. This will all make sense, I hope, in a minute. Interprets the laws. Okay? Laws are important. This is how we keep our society together. All right. Right here in this space, Put a dot and we're going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line off the page. And inside we're going to write checks and put a check mark and balances. And this is a very important concept. We've got this going on right now. Draw a straight line and a triangle in the middle. Put a check and a check. They're both balances. They're balanced. Then, because I don't want it to crash in, I want to divide it over by using my curved lines. Checks and balances. What does that mean? That is the power to check and limit the other two. What in the world are we talking about here? What we're talking about is this. I want you to draw a curved line and a triangle. When Congress makes a law, it goes to the president and he can put it into motion. But at the same time, the law can also be looked at by the Supreme Court to make sure that it's within the realms of the laws of the Constitution. But the Supreme Court, curve line triangle, can also check the president if he's out of line. In Congress, curve line triangle, can also check on the president if he's out of line. These are the checks and balances. Everybody in our government can check on the other government section if they think there's something up that needs to be looked at. Okay, so it's like a big circle around and around. 
and there are certain times when something will one of the branches will have to step in and check one of the others in order to make sure it stays balanced all right let's see how we're going to color this in okay when you make a diagram you don't want a lot of color you just want to highlight certain things so the most important thing on this chart is my red crayon coloring in all of my directional arrows showing how the movement of the branches and the movement of how we make laws this is the most important part so you understand that there's certain things that are all intertwined but they all go in different directions okay now this is important because I don't know for my little global people we're having some checks and balances going on right now in our country um, with the uh, Congress checking the president and if it came down to impeachment the Supreme Court would be in charge of the trial okay come all the way up and I'm just using blue and I'm going around my curve lines and I'm coming down and I'm putting a line of blue again on my checks and balances okay that's all I don't want to I don't want this to be uh, too much color messing it all up okay all right let's see what this looks like all colored in okay this one looks pretty much like the other one I just did so I'm pretty sure this is going to be easy for you to follow three branches of government we live in a democracy our laws are governed by the Constitution legislative executive judicial the legislative in the Capitol is Congress the president in the White House is uh, the executive and the Supreme Court okay let's see if you get it okay bye bye